David Viscott, and welcome back. Uh, let's try to take a couple calls. Okay, um, let's take Ann. She's on line 10, and her neighbors keep her awake with noises. Ann. Hi, how are you? I'm good, Ann. How old are you? I'm 44. Your neighbors, your neighbors keep you awake with noises? Yes, they do. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, sexual noises and during the night. All, every night? Well, it's been happening for about the last month. Um... Neighbors in an apartment next yeah. house. Well, I'm in a second floor apartment. They're beneath me, and my bedroom is right above their bedroom. And even when I move from my bedroom into my living room, I can hear it. it's that loud. And their bed looks like it's going to go right through the wall. And I've tried to. Um, I, I pound my feet on the floor when it happens, and then they, they probably think that's your sexual noises. <laughs> No. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. When a couple's making a lot of noises, they think everybody's joining in. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, afraid no. not. <laughs> so have you called up and said, hey, fellas? Well, I don't have their number, but I have knocked on their door. It's like that um, Paul Simon record, couple in the next room's going to win a prize. They've been going at it all night long. <laughs> uh, every night, sometimes during the day. How old are these people? Um, they're young. She's approximately 32, 33, and he seems like he's maybe 26, 27. Well, you don't want to kill anyone else's good time. That's true. That's yeah. why I don't know what to do. <laughs> because I've talked to the landlord, and he didn't want to talk to them or approach them. He um, said that I should do that. He did, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, one thing you could do... Have you, have you spoken to them at all? Um, non-verbally. Do you have a tape recorder? Uh, <laughs> someone else suggested that. Get a tape recorder. Set your settings on loud. Mm-hmm. Are there, are there verbal things that are done, too? Yes. Okay. You think your tape recorder can pick them up? Mm, yes. So pick them up for about a week. Then put the, t put the tape in an envelope and just say... Thought you'd like to know how you're registering. <laughs> I've tried earplugs. No, 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 no. <laughs> what did you just say? Thought you'd like to know how you're registering in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. We're not talking Mr. Rogers now either, are we? No, we're not. No, you better believe it. No, we're not. So if you give people a little bit of feedback, sometimes they, they, they change. Well, actually, I've given them a lot of feedback. What you have know? you done? I've stomped on the floor. I told I've you knocked on their door. <laughs> and they stop temporarily, and they don't even come to the door because uh, they know. Are they what... laughing on the other side? Uh, of it? yeah, but there's also um, stereo music that goes on real loud. Oh. And um, it's just that they have no respect for my, you know, privacy. Are they doing drugs? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, they seem to be wrapped up in their own thing. Yeah. And the la last thing you want to do is be intrusive in a way that that creates. Even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think sending them the tapes with a little comment, we're enjoying the performance. Yeah. Or, um, you know, things like that. Or you could get a tape of them doing it mm -hmm. and then put the tape on your stereo and play your stereo in the middle of the night. That's, that's a good idea. And then the whole neighborhood would hear them hear your stereo thinking it's them. Yeah. You like that? I like that. Yeah. See, now you get them playing them out of control, and and when they're finished, you know, turn it on full blast, <laughs> they won't, they, they'll think it's a replay. Uh, I think that's great. Do it. Okay. Give, me, a, give me feedback on that. We'll have to give it a name and call it uh, Sexual Extinction Audio <laughs> Reinforcement <laughs> Therapy. And it, oh, that's great. How do we know it isn't voyeurism? And if it all fails, there's a business in the tapes. <laughs> you know, is it legal to do it? You're, not mean... you're just recording the, the, the ambient noise <laughs> of your own household, lady. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Are they doing it now? Uh, they just stopped about a half hour ago while I, I was trying I'd... to call you. <laughs> I know. I thought, oh, if he, if I catch them while you're on the line, we could experience this all together, you know. But, I uh... want to know why my screeners <laughs> missed this call. 
They're under strict instructions. You know what I'll do? I'll make what? a copy of the tape and I'll send it. No, I can't do that. It doesn't have a... <laughs> I wouldn't set it up. It has to be natural, you know. Yeah, but it, but it was happening from approximately uh, <laughs> 12 <laughs> until about a half hour ago. From 12 to a half hour mm -hmm. ago? And sometimes it happens during in the middle of the day. You know, and um, it disturbs my work. It you know, sounds my... like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> yeah, I think that's hi -ho, about hi -ho. right. <laughs> this is extraordinary. I think there's a little more to it than There's the more to it than this? Mm -hmm. Why? What do you think's going on down there? Um, I don't know. I, I don't believe that um, she's working at a regular full-time job, so I'm not sure what's going on. You think it's the same guy? Sometimes it is. What do you mean? Sometimes it isn't? <laughs> um, some, I think sometimes it isn't, but uh, oh, we're talking I can't speculate because I don't want to get myself into trouble here. Well, you can speculate. You won't, yeah. I'm not going to... Yeah. Um, it's just that I, it's, I don't think she's holding a full-time job, and I don't think that... Um, I think she's home every day, all the time. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you know her person... Have you ever talked to her when she's not in, uh, in, in flagrant delight, as they say? Uh, yes, I, I've asked her. She had just gotten a brand new Porsche, and I asked her about the Porsche, and I said, that's a real nice car, and she said, oh, my boyfriend gave it to me. And I said, well, it's really a beautiful car. 26-year-old boyfriend got a 33-year-old woman. This is before I even saw him coming here. I've been living here um, about okay. nine months, and uh, like, you know, maybe four months ago, and I've only seen him around the last month and a half. Why don't you take her to lunch and ask her what her secret is? <laughs> yeah, you know, that might be a bit. I see. I mean, no, she's a very attractive woman. I bet. Anne, you're 43 years old. You got a guy? No. Why not? I don't know. That's a very good question. People ask me that all the time. Because you've got too much time to concentrate <laughs> on someone else's uh, you um, know, homework there. and. Uh... No, actually, I'm unemployed right now, so... I don't have the opportunity to meet as many people as I did when, you know, I was out there. Well. So I've been looking for work. What do you, do? What do, you do? I'm in marketing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a marketeer, and uh, I'm looking for work in marketing. And uh, I was going to take your course, by the way, in fi finding your passion or find your passion, and I'm sorry that it had to be canceled because mm. I really wanted to do that. Well, this woman certainly has found her passion. <laughs> But um, I appreciate what you do, and I appreciate the work that you do. I think it's very important for Make us. those tapes. Okay. And uh, play them back. Or you can take her to lunch and... Uh, and uh, Actually, I don't think she's somebody I would want to have lunch with. Okay, so. that's your decision. But yeah. I, I, I think the tapes heard in the still of the night would be very interesting. Meanwhile, they're watching this show and saying, What can we do next? <laughs> I hope they're watching. Oh, I, I bet. really do. And... Thank you. Take care. Okay, good night. I hope I cheered you up. You really have. It's Thank 3 o'clock. So Go back to bed. Okay, Okay, thanks. dog. Don't tell me this isn't a varied program, huh? This is a very varied program. Arlene, thank you for your help. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, thank you for being there. Um, this cannot take place without you. This program is about you, and somehow it turns out to be all about us. The ridiculousness, the tenderness... The outrage, the pain, the understanding, the confusion, the abuse, our lives. See you next week.